How to make corn whiskey. If you'd like to try your hand at homemade whiskey, corn whiskey is a great one to start with. You'll need to create a corn mash with a few basic ingredients like crushed corn, malted barley, yeast, and sugar. Strain the liquid and distill it in a pot still. With a little time and effort, you'll soon be enjoying your own smooth, corn whiskey. Making the corn mash. Heat water in a large pot. Set a large pot at least 8 gallons or 30 liters in size on the stove. Pour in 5 gallons 19 liters of water and put the lid on the pot. Turn the heat to high and heat the water until it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit 70 C. Turn off the heat. You should use a brewer's thermometer to make the corn mash and throughout the distillation process. Stir in the crushed corn. Take the lid off of the pot and pour in 8.5 pounds kilograms of crushed corn. Set a timer and use a long-handled spoon to stir the corn constantly for 3 to 5 minutes. Stir the corn and check the temperature. Once the timer goes off, set the timer for another 5 minutes. Instead of stirring constantly, you only need to stir the corn for 5 to 10 seconds once the timer goes off. Continue briefly stirring the corn every 5 minutes until the temperature reaches 152 degrees Fahrenheit 37 C. The corn will start to gel up when you stir it. This is because the starches are releasing and the mixture is thickening. Stir in the malted barley. Turn off the heat and stir in 1.5 pounds .7 kilograms of crushed malted barley. Stir it constantly for a minute or two. Put the lid back on the pot. This corn mash will start to thin out after you've added the malted barley. It's important to use malted barley, since it has the enzymes you need to turn starch into sugar. You'll need that sugar to ferment the corn. Avoid using regular flaked barley. 5. Let the mash rest for 90 minutes. This will give the grain, the malted barley, a chance to turn starch into sugar. You don't need to stir it or check the temperature as it rests. Make a yeast starter. You can make the yeast starter while the mash is sitting. Pour 1 tablespoon 14 grams of active dry bread yeast into a glass of warm water. The water should be 110 degrees Fahrenheit 43C. Stir in 1 teaspoon of sugar until the yeast and sugar are dissolved in the water. The yeast starter will ensure that the yeast is good and active before you add it to the mash. It will also get fermentation started right away. Cool the mash. Check the temperature of the corn mash once it's rested. It should be around 70 degrees Fahrenheit 20 C before you add the yeast mixture. You can either let the mash continue to sit or use an immersion chiller to cool the mash. The immersion chiller is also known as a wart chiller.